Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claire and this is the Flossy Podcast. Welcome if you're here for the first time, if you're just stumbling across me here. Um, it's lovely to have you. Welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, this is episode 11 and I'm really excited about it because I didn't realise when I filmed issue 10 <laughs> that we're into double digits. So it was only when I was editing. So yay for double digits and I'm really excited to be back recording. Um, this is probably going to be a slightly shorter episode than normal because I am recording this a little bit earlier and there's a reason for that. Um, I'm actually flying to the UK tonight. <laughs> I wanted to leave as much time as possible before I recorded but I really want to get an episode out for Friday so I left it till today. I've got plenty of time <laughs> so it's all good but, um, but yeah I'm flying home to the UK tonight um, for my best friend's wedding, actual thing, not the film, um, and I've not been home in over two and a half years, so I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, flying with um, all the things of COVID, but we're going to be super safe, super sensible, massively vaccinated up to the nines, <laughs> so fingers crossed all will be okay. And, and yeah, so because I'm recording this a little bit sooner, I don't have as much to show you, but I do have a few things I want to talk to you about because I am going to be away for a month. I'm only back at the beginning of June and I was thinking about what to do because we just got into like a nice role with the, um, with filming and having it every two weeks, having like the podcast and first I thought about taking all my equipment and trying to um, film the podcast while I was there and I just know, you know what it's like, there's going to be a wedding, it's going to be really busy, I have tons of friends and family that I want to see and I really want to maximise my time with them so I thought I'm not going to add that extra pressure um, but I did want to have something uh, queued up for while I was away to share with you which actually kind of pushed me to do something I've been thinking of doing for a little while um, and that was more some slightly different content to show you here on YouTube. I don't know I was a little bit not worried about it but just I feel like I've just started getting into my comfort zone here with the podcast and to kind of change things up a little bit I, I was a little bit nervous but I thought we'll try it out we'll see what happens. Um, so I have as well as this podcast, I have two other videos that are going to be popping up, one um, towards the end of May and the other at the beginning of June before I return and um, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to let you watch them, <laughs> I'm not going to go into it but they are slightly more, one of them especially is a lot more project based. Um, when I started the podcast, it was because I wanted to share what I was making with you and just chat about wool, <laughs> my knitting. Um, but one thing I never wanted the podcast to be was um, just me kind of sat here saying, look what I've made, look at this finished object and isn't this nice kind of a thing. I, I wanted it to be more of um, more sharing what I was doing but not just the shiny beautiful things but also things that happen along the way, things that I don't do very well, the things I muck up, um, you know, the reality of making things because I think I've been knitting a long time but I make mistakes all the time and I've just started sewing my first top I'm wearing today, my Zelo top which I've shown you before um, but this is the first actual sewn garment that I've ever made and worn. Um, so it's kind of nice showing you that journey so it felt like a natural next step to start showing you the actual progression I guess of a project and um, it's something I'm really excited to start doing I think it's quite fun um, so yeah they're a little bit more the videos coming up and more one of them's definitely more of like a project based video and the other one is 
um, looking back at some past makes that I've done because as well I don't want it to be all about the new shiny things that are coming out I think a big part of making your own clothes and making your own like fun things is you know we don't just make them and then discard them and move on to the next thing at least I don't do that so it's kind of nice to revisit some things and and yeah so that's what the two videos are going to be kind of more based on and I really hope you enjoy them I'm enjoying creating content regularly for you and I definitely didn't want that to drop while I was in England so so that's what you can expect coming up so we won't be having the podcast in this form um until later in June well I'll record it exactly as I get that probably that week so I can get it up for the Friday but I really hope you enjoy the content that I have um filmed for you I've been working <laughs> Working my little socks off for the last um, two weeks to um, make sure everything's filmed and I've, I've not edited anything yet so I'm going to be working on that as I get to the UK but but yeah so I just wanted to start this episode off with a little bit of a that's what you can expect coming up for the next um, for May and the beginning of June and I really hope you enjoy it uh, and as always just be completely honest. <laughs> With me, uh, when you watch those and let me know what you think because um, it was a lot of fun to do and um, I hope it gives you a little bit of project inspiration or things you might want to try yourself um, yeah so that is what is coming up but before I flit off to the UK I wanted to chat a little bit and just say a big big thank you for your lovely responses and all your kind words that you had of parky. My parky socks that I released um, in the last podcast, I was sharing these with you. Um, so they've been out in the world for oh, just over a week now. And, and yeah, it was really nice to share them with you and you said such kind things and were really lovely about them. Um, so I just want to say a big thank you for that. Also, a big thank you for all of your words and sharing your thoughts on the discount codes that I was kind of chatting about last time. It's super helpful to hear what you think in with discount codes when you actually release the patterns as opposed to not doing that. Um, it's just nice to know what you're thinking and I'm definitely going to keep, I'm not going to be doing discount codes moving forward for new releases because um, I feel a bit more confident doing that after hearing what you think um, and I think that feels right for me right now especially because that way hopefully it opens up a bit more room for doing more promotion led events at different times of the year and then I actually really like doing little um, free patterns now and again I know I don't want to do a ton of free patterns because then that kind of is counterproductive to then not doing the discount codes but I think if I can get to a more I don't know like more financially solid when I am doing my knitting patterns and again you know at least the money that I've made I've spent making them back in then it just means I can build that up a little bit and hopefully further down the line I can afford to do like a little gift pattern at certain times a year um, especially around Christmas time or in the summer when we're doing sock knitting and things like that so thank you so much for sharing your thoughts it was really it was really kind of you to do that so and I really appreciate it. So that leads us to the giveaway that I was running in the last episode which was for a skein of the gorgeous barn swallow um, from the small bird workshop and this is the yarn that I use for parky um, and it's beautiful it's Canadian made it's Canadian wool and um, Canadian mohair it's all completely traceable and it is gorgeous it's a beautiful natural sock yarn and I got an extra skein when I was shopping there because I wanted to do a giveaway and the exciting news is Catherine who is the dyer and the yarn producer behind the small bird workshop and um, she got in touch with me when she saw I was doing the giveaway and she offered a second skein um, that she's going to send out to one lucky winner as well so it means I get to draw two names which is awesome so nice of her and very generous um so i'm very excited to draw the two names now i randomly selected them before we started so i'm going to share with you so ida elbach 
and Patty Downs. I'm going to put your names on the screen right here. I'm also going to reply to your comment below so you know you are the winners. You both get a skein of, um, of the Bound Swallow. And I was so excited. Thank you so much for entering. Uh, what I'm going to do is if you could get in touch with me at hello at flossynits.com um, and let me know your address, where you are in the world. Uh, I'm going to take this scheme with me to the UK because if it makes more sense to post it from there, um, I will do. Um, but I know also sending parcels in and out of the UK can be a little bit tricky right now. So depending on where you're based, um, if you're in Europe, for example, it might be not ideal with customs. But we'll discuss that um, when you get in touch with me. And if it is a little trickier shipping it from the UK, then I'll wait till I get back and ship it then. Um, but Catherine will also ship a skein um, herself too. Uh, if for some reason the winners that I've drawn today don't get in touch with me, I'm going to give a good few days. And like I said, I'll comment below your comments too. Um, if I don't hear back from those people then I will redraw again and keep going until someone claims the lovely prize but I really hope I don't patty congratulations thank you to everyone for getting in touch and for entering the prize draw this is certainly not going to be the last one that I do I really enjoy I really enjoyed doing this I think it's really fun and I like it when I get to try new kind of locally to me yarns it's nice to be able to share them with you on here too so Thank you again for everyone who took part and yeah, I'm going to start thinking of other little giveaways we can do on here because it was super fun and it was lovely hearing all your pattern recommendations of things you'd like to knit. Um, it sent me down a little <laughs> of myself. I'm not going to lie, the uh, Varsox by, um, ooh, who were they by with the little embroidered flowers on? They very swiftly <laughs> went into my queue, which is funny because I'm not much of a sock knitter at all. And um, and I just knit these, which took me quite a while. So I didn't think socks were going to go jumping on my on my to-do list so quickly. But they did because they're stinking cute. <laughs> so that's really all the news so far. Um, I've been, because I've been doing a lot of filming and things for the videos that are coming up, over the next few weeks. I didn't have a ton of knitting time, but I did work quite a lot in the evenings on my Merrymaker. And I am just up to doing the hem. I am so happy with how this is looking, um, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I tried it on yesterday and I'm a little bit concerned because the sleeves, it fits perfectly on the body. The sleeves, I think there's maybe, feels like there's a lot of ease in there, which I was surprised at, I'm not going to lie. And <laughs> it's probably a sign I should have tried it on sooner because I was having such a nice time knitting on it. I kind of separated the sleeves and the body and then I was like, oh, that, that's fine. I'm just going to. I'll knit a little bit of the body and then I'll try it on. But honestly, it just went so quickly, the whole body section, because it's just like stocking it and then you do the little bit, the little colour work section. So you kind of get into the next stage every time. So I just flew through it and then I thought, oh, I better try it on to make sure the length was all right, which the length was perfect. Um, but the sleeves were just a little bit... I'm worried they're a little puffy looking, so I'm not sure <laughs> what to do. I'll be honest, I think I'm going to give them, I'm going to measure them, I'm going to measure them against another sweater, um, a sweater that I wear all the time. I'll probably measure it against one of my other vanilla uh, loom sweaters and um, and see how it's looking in terms of size. And we'll see. I think, I think I may end up, if it feels like it's going to be too big, may end up ripping back, which, you know what, I'm fine with. If it comes to it and I try it on, I could um, leave it as is and start knitting the sleeve 
and seeing how it's feeling, but I could probably tell just with the armhole if it's going to start again a bit too much. So I don't know. So watch this space <laughs> because um, cause it may be that I have to rip back a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. I rather, I'm having a really nice time working on this, so I'd rather kind of rip back and get it fitting me properly than to get to the end of it and then not end up wearing it as much because I don't like the fit of the sleeves. And um, and yeah, it's re but I'm loving it. I love how it looks. Um, the other thing I could do if I am ripping it back, I could, I could rip it right the way back because I actually have a lot of, there's still a lot of yardage of the, um, the floofy yarn that I'm using. This is from Botanical Fibers. Um, and I kept my, I kept my waves quite skinny because I was worried about yardage. If I rip right back, I could actually go to here and add like another row in the middle. But I don't know. I kind of like the skinnier, the skinnier waves. So maybe I won't do that. But yeah, I know it seems like it, it's one of those things because I might be ripping the entire body back. But I'm absolutely loving working on it. So this is the Merry Maker from issue seven of Making Stories magazine. She is right here. Um, and it's such a beautiful pattern that if I end up having to rip back and redo it, there it is in the magazine. It's gorgeous. I won't be mad about it at all. And like I said, I've knit it so quickly. Um, I am knitting it as part of the Making Stories cal that is running. Um, the issue seven joy cal and that ends at the end of may and i don't know how much time i'll have knitting while i'm in the uk but we're not going to worry about it the goal is to get a sweater at the end of it that i'm going to wear a ton and i love the look of this and the combination of yarns that i've used so i'm going to focus on that and not worry as much about finishing for the deadline of the cal so so yeah, that's what I'm up to in my merrymaker. So watch this space to see what happens there. Um, like I said, I won't be filming the podcast now until I get back from the UK in June. Um, but if you do want to keep up with me in between, I will be sending out the newsletter. Um, so if you're not already subscribed to that, um, I'll put the link below. Please feel free. Um, you get a gift pattern, um, a hat pattern bow for... Um, straight to your inbox when you sign up for my newsletter and I pop in once maybe twice a month depending on what's going on I just keep you up to date what I'm doing and what's on my needles and sometimes what Tilly's doing um and yeah Tilly's been elusive again today she's um the weather's finally turned so she's spending a lot of time out on the deck so we'll go and find her after I finish filming so you can have a little peek at her um that's the one thing that I'm really not looking forward to about going to the UK. I'm leaving Tilly for for quite a while, longer than I would definitely like to leave her, which, you know, if it's longer than a day, it's too long. But, you know, that's one of the it's one of the things with living in a different country to your family. It's it's tricky. But I'm really looking forward to going. I'm excited to see everyone. Excited to see all my friends. It's been so long since I've seen people in real life so I can't wait and I'm also looking forward to when I get back I'll be able to talk to you more um you can also keep up with me on Instagram as well although honestly um I'll probably be um not on there a ton I'm gonna try and be you know really kind of focus my time in on family and friends and um yeah Instagram can be a little bit of a time sucks sometimes as I'm sure you know so I probably won't be on there a ton but I will be popping in now and again to say hello and um and yeah but if not check out my newsletter and if I don't see you again until June take care I hope you enjoy the other videos that I've got queued up for you and um and as always thank you so much for being here and I will see you soon 
if you like this video and you like my other videos please do hit thumbs up um because that really helps and but also don't feel obliged <laughs> you can also give it a thumbs down and if you're not already please do subscribe so you won't miss any of those videos that are coming and i will see you soon take care and thank you for being here see you soon bye Thank you.